Hi everyone, Tim the Plain Man here and welcome to Plain Time, Plain Follows Stage 2, Formation Flight Edition. This is the Atom RC Beluga and this is the CUAV 7 Nano Autopilot Flight Controller. I'm going to set this plane up like this with my Plane Follow Lua script running on this tiny little flight controller and this plane is going to chase another plane around the air. We'll do an unboxing now and you can see how everything comes together but this is the plan. Alright, so here are all the pieces of the Beluga and let's just focus on the key things that make this very interesting. First of all we have the wings. The wings are basically have quick release connectors so they'll be removable uh, which is great for um, transporting the plane around. The tail plane is also removable with a quick release connector which is really quite nice. Um, there should be, and there you go, there's lights, navigation lights on the wings which is kind of nice. So um, everything is, is quick release and what we have here is we have a mounting bay for landing gear but I'm going to build this plane right at the, uh, first up as a uh, belly lander because well it's cold and there's snow outside so I'm definitely not going to be landing on wheels but that could happen later on and most importantly is the fuselage over here and the fuselage comes with this a huge area built for mounting a camera which I intend to do um, pretty obviously and secondly okay there we go now here's the here's the contents we've got a bunch of connectors and and everything for connecting up the plane but look at that absolutely huge space inside for a battery light controller and uh, FPV gear etc. So the specs say the takeoff weight is 1850 grams so almost two kilograms. This plane itself is fairly light and I'm expecting to be able to put a very big battery in here probably one of these. Maybe not exactly this this is a 6S2P battery pack and it's quite heavy but has an um, 8,000 milliamp hours of power. Look at the fit of that in the plane. That fits absolutely perfectly. So I'm expecting that this battery, I should be able to get an extremely long flying time out of this plane, which is one of the things I'm looking for for my plane follow stage two formation flight. So this is the focus uh, of what I'm going to plan to do with the Beluga. So let's take a look at the fuselage and what we're going to put inside. Um, the plane comes with a very, for, a, for these kinds of planes, very comprehensive user manual. It's got the specs. The wingspan, by the way, is 1. 1200 uh, millimeters, 1.2 meters, which is, to me, it's, that's the sweet spot of a, of a fixed wing plane in terms of size. It's nicely in my car about the size of the Bixler that was pretty much the first biggish plane that I flew. Uh, 70 40 by 3 props which is uh, great for belly landing. 1.1 uh, meters in, in length. So everything that is required to put the plane together documented here plus links to well setting it up with INAV I'm going to set it up with Pilot, and all the settings and everything are available on the download page so quite nicely done. But what we're going to do now is take a look at the CUAV 7 Nano Autopilot. This autopilot is an H7 autopilot fly controller and it's very interesting for a number of reasons. Take a look at that. This is crazy. This is an autopilot H7 flight controller. Look at the size of it. You know what we have to do? Two things we have to do with that. We have to measure it. So let's measure the flight controller. Look at this. Look at the size of this. It's 30 millimeters by 
31 millimeters by 25 millimeters. Absolutely beautiful. It can fit in the tiniest space. On top of that, along with all of the standard stuff this has, this has Ethernet connectivity. It has an Ethernet adapter which is supported by ArduPilot, so I can connect IP based cameras such as the Topotec uh, KHP415 or the CA8 Mini uh, and control and transmit telemetry and other information with the fly controller. Very, very nice. Now let's have a look at how much it weighs. This is also very interesting. 34 grams. That complete H7 flight controller, basically one inch by one inch by one inch, more or less. I mean, I don't really understand inches, but three centimeters by three centimeters by 2.5 centimeters, 35 grams. So this will fit perfectly in here. Let's have a look. Well, this is going to be quite easy because that flight controller, look at that, that spot in there is almost like it's made for it. Now, I mean, it'll be a little tricky to get access to the ports. I'll figure that out, but there's several different options for how to mount this and that should go just perfectly there with the camera, with the, the battery mounted in there. This is just going to be absolutely awesome. Here I have a Geotech uh, M10S GPS unit and look at that. Looks to me with a, just a little bit of editing of the hardware there that might fit just nicely in there and run the cable through to the flight controller and that will connect perfectly into one of these ports here which one of them will be labeled CAN. There. So that will connect to the CAN port and there I have GPS mounted up here at the top of the plane. So this is the beginning of the plane. This is the plan for building a plane where I will have the 7 Nano running Audi Pilot, running my plane follow Lewis script, flying this plane with a FPV gear mounted probably up here somewhere either there or potentially at the front and using the camera to give me chase video of the lead plane from this which will be the follow plane. There it is, the Adam RC Beluga, Tim the Plane Man, Plane Follow, Stage 2, Formation Flight Edition, Kickoff. Tim the Plane Man, over and out.